Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to give a review of the uh, Amazon air quality sensor. Uh, this guy here. Um, so, probably know air quality is important, especially the air pollution issue we're having recently. Um, so, I did some research. Uh, seems like most of the good air quality sensors on the market, they're at least a couple hundred dollars. And then Amazon provided a cheap solution, so I thought I'll give it a try. Um, so first, let's talk about the look. It's kind of a smaller size, uh, not taking much of space. Uh, you will need a plug-in in there. It's not a battery-driven. Um, so Amazon give you a plug and then a cable in here. It, it's a micro USB, it's not USB-C, so kind of old school. Um, and um, I think there is like a threaded hole in there. Supposedly, probably there's some mounting solution you can mount on the wall, but then I not, I'm not using it, I just put it on the table. So I, I believe this window in here, it's the sensor. Um, it looks like speaker, but then it's not. It's not gonna make any weird sound, so don't worry about that. Um, and then there is one LED light, and uh, usually it can, by default, it's gonna show different color based on your air quality. Um, but then on the Alexa app, you can actually turn it off uh, so that it's, say, if you worry about having a light when you're sleeping, right? So you can turn it off so the LED light is not showing anything. Now, certainly it does not have any screen, so any reading you're doing, either you, you can uh, see the number from your phone or uh, you can create some dashboard in any of your Echo device. Now, setting up the sensor is actually pretty straightforward uh, because when I bought the sensor, you know, there's a check on the Amazon page saying if you want to uh, pre-link it to your own Amazon account and I check it so somehow they are are they already linked it. Um, and then when I first got it I simply plug it in the wall and then uh, one minute later it just something just pop up on my uh, Amazon app screen saying this sensor is being set up so I, I didn't really have to do much. I think if you did not click that check and you, you did not uh, have it pre-registered uh, you probably have to go to device and then there's a plus sign in there and then you can select which one you're going to go and then I believe they're going to ask you to select this uh, 2D barcode through your phone and then that will uh, register it uh, to your Amazon account. Um, and then another thing I want to mention is uh, uh, right after you plug it in, uh, there will be a 7 minute um, there will be a, like a seven minute calibration time in there. Um, so you, 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 you are not gonna be able to get any readings immediately. It will show something like the, the sensor is still being calibrated. It takes about seven minutes. And then after that, you will get some reading in there. And then every time you unplug and replug in, again, it's gonna take seven minutes to, to calibrate before it will get, get connected and show you the reading. So. So um, first, let's just show you the phone in here. So uh, one downside is certainly um, there is no separate app for it. Uh, you cannot create like a, even like a dashboard on your Alexa app. So the only way you can do is you have to go to the device. Then you're gonna have to find this device. And then unfortunately, it's like all the way to the end because there's echo, there's all your lights, there's a plug and switches, and then air quality is like all the way here. And then I tried, you cannot um, rearrange uh, the sequence in here, you cannot drag and pull, so you have to plug in here, and now this is how you read it. Now the good side, a good side of this is um, in this Alexa app, if you are using um, like this feature quite often, uh, it will create a shortcut for you on the home screen, so at least it's easier access and less click getting into the app. So, so I'm going to go to air quality, and then um, I think on the top this is like um, a summary or like average of indoor air quality, 
And then if you have, if you buy multiple of these, and uh, I think it will probably show it all here, like first, second, third, and certainly you can give it a different name. Uh, I think I'm just using default in the first, so uh, I only have one. So you click in, and then this is how you get all the readings. Um, so it measure um, five, five things. Um, certainly temperature, humidity, uh, everyone does it, and then PM, carbon monoxide, and the Vox inside index. So uh, there's a disclaimer from Amazon devices saying um, this device is not uh, certified to be used as a carbon monoxide uh, alarm. Um, so you should still have your smoke detector and carbon monoxide de detector and do not use it. So uh, that's their disclaimer in there and Vox inside is like a, um, like those uh, organic chemical you can smell in the air say from paint and from um, some not good plastics and I'm kind of sensitive about that so uh, that's another thing in there um, so it, it, it's kind of like summarize all five of them and give you a score in here as 97 telling you good and bad and then certainly if you're in this range is good and then this is going to be like uh yellow or orange and then this is going to be bad in there and then you can look at like every individual number so if you just want to look at the temperature this is the temperature right now uh, and then they use this bar chart um, so you can certainly look at it by hours uh, and then this is by day and then this is by week and you see the trend in there um, and then this is how you read the humidity. And then this is the number in there. Uh, I'm not seeing any way I can adjust the sampling sequence, like a frequency. So I think this is a, just by default, this is how it is. I cannot say I want to sample it more frequently or not. And then there's a PM in there. Um, and of course, this is the reading, and then it will tell you where you're at. Anything below 35 is good, uh, and anything like in the middle is like a, um, orange or something. And then it will tell you the average in there. And then carbon monoxide, um, and then wax in there. So showing you uh, good and bad, and the average um, in there. So um in general i i like it i think there is a way you can create alarm like if this number is above some number uh you're gonna have the app send you a notification certainly you're gonna have to turn on the notification from the uh, alexa app in there so you know, one thing i kind of want to do a comparison is uh, the sampling frequency in there so uh, for example i'm just gonna do it a day in there right so recently because i have been doing a lot of research on these kind of sensors uh, i also bought another sensor from the market um it's this brand i think it's called a Goovy. um so i want to show you um this sensor seems like they have much better accuracy or higher frequency of sampling in there so if I want to show my temperature uh, chart of the day, you can actually see very detailed um, fluctuation in there going up and down. You can see it's kind of going down and then in the morning it's gonna go up and down in there. And then in this sensor, I can actually adjust the sampling frequency in there because it is battery driven. Um, and um, this sensor is actually in the same room with the Amazon sensor in there, it's just different location, but then same room. But then you can see the detail uh, up and down from this sensor. And then compared to the Amazon sensor, it's not changing much, right? But then in general, uh, we are not really, I'm not really using the sensor to do any scientific study in there. Uh, I don't think I need that that much of frequency i guess uh, at least it tells me the current temperature and all that stuff so it's good enough for me um one thing i do not like about this sensor which is kind of deal breaker now is um uh, i'm not able to share the sensor with other members of my family 
So certainly in the Alexa app, you can in the setting you can add family members. Like say, uh, here I use my own Amazon account in there, and then I can add my family member because they have their own Amazon account. Um, it's like click here in the settings, you can add their family member. However, they in their app they are still not able to see this device and there is no place i can say that i want to share this device to other people so the only way you can share is probably have it uh, create a dashboard on your echo device on the screen in your living room but then there is no way they can um, see these readings from their cell phone unless they just use the same Amazon account with you. So this is kind of a deal breaker for me. That's one big thing. I do not like it. Um, so that's why uh, I think uh, I recently also bought another sensor. Um, this is an extra air quality sensor from Ikea. Um, so in my next video, I want to give uh, a detailed review of how this sensor works and then see uh, if I like this sensor better. So all right. So I think that's everything I want to mention about this Amazon sensor. Um, if you um, like my video and find my video helpful, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.